Hi guys, welcome back to FYP TV. My name is Brett, I run a channel called 2FC. Please check it out in the description and Palace. Get a very, very late equaliser to make it 2-2 at home to West Ham. We could have won this game. We could have won this game if it wasn't for Joe Hart. And respect for Joe Hart. He kept West Ham in this game. The saves he was pulling off, you can see why he's been England number one for so long. He does it everywhere he goes. He did it at Man City. He did it at Torino when Man City didn't want him anymore. And he's now doing it for West Ham. Fair play. Absolute fair play. Um, Wilf. Oh, God. Lost his cheek. Played out of his skin. Uh, Fossi Mensa came on for Van Harnold in the 10th minute. Played out of his skin. Fantastic. Kabaya played well. Townsend played well. Spironi, I don't remember him having to save anything. But my stream was a bit stop and start and it was in Spanish. So, yeah, <laughs> fantastic for me considering I don't speak Spanish. But overall, we could and should have possibly won this game. But a point is a point and we scored goals with it. I'm, I'll take the point at the end of the day. I will take it. Um, yeah, brilliant. Two goals in the first half from West Ham. Um, Chikorito with a very smart finish. Very lovely finish. Cresswell passes it in. Uh, don't know where the defenders were, but it gets to Chikorito, who had the balls to wait for it to come across him, to use his right foot on the outside of his right foot and smash it past Broni. Lovely finish. Just before, just before that, possibly Will should have had a penalty. But it is Wilf. We don't get penalties when Wilf goes down in the box. Um, and then just before half time, Ayu runs the ball from the halfway line again. Don't know where the defenders were. Carried on going, gets to the edge of the box, cuts on his left, and smashes. Smashes the ball top left. Sproni couldn't do a thing about it. A lovely finish. Fantastic goal. Um, Two corners, which I was just saying on my video, I don't know whether we do this in practice or in training, sorry, but two corners have come in to Tompkins um, and they both look like, uh, one was Tompkins, one was Dan, sorry. And they both look like they were going wide, uh, wide left and Loftus-Cheek is there to flick it or flick it back into play. So whether we're doing that on training and it's a smart manoeuvre to just get bodies there because they know we're going to head it at goal. But it comes back. The first one comes back and Tompkins again. Joe Hart makes a fantastic save from Tompkins' header, which then Schlup gets a volley in. And again, Hart gets straight on his feet and saves it again. But it goes, it get back to what I was talking about. The headers look like they're going wide, but Loftus-Cheek is standing there and he's flicking it back in. The second one, he heads it wide. But he first, the first one, he flicks back in. It goes back to Tompkins, who headers it for the heart save, for the schlup volley, for the heart save. So, yeah, if we're doing that in training, I like it. I genuinely like it. But if they're just really bad headers and Loftus Chick is lucky to be there, <laughs> then maybe do that in practice. Let's practice that because it's good. It worked. Um, second half started and we get the penalty. Andros Townsend tripped. Uh, Ogbonna knew it was a penalty straight away. Didn't try and say... He dived or anything. He knew. He knew straight away it was a penalty. But my question is, if that was Wilf, would we have got that penalty? Because we all know that the refs don't like Wilf having penalties because they believe that he's diving or he's going down too easily, blah, 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 blah. But we get it. Luca smashes it bottom left. Heart goes the wrong way. Fantastic. That's 2-1. And then from that penalty, we had six minutes added on. I think we played to the 70th, uh, 97th minute. So for the next 47 minutes, it was basically all Palace. A lot of shooting, a lot of fantastic saves from Joe Hart. Um, Kabaya had a free kick, which nothing wrong with it. I don't know whether it, maybe it was a little bit too low and it was perfect height for Joe Hart, but it curled around the corner. It like curled around the wall brilliantly and Joe Hart made a fantastic save. Um, but like I said, I don't know whether, maybe if it was a little bit higher, would Joe Hart have got it? But, but that's for another question. And I'm 
don't really want to get into it. I kind of went into it on my channel if you want to go and check that out. But um, the tenacity was brilliant. Um, like I said, when we scored that, that goal for the penalty, it looked like we can get something from this. I thought at half time we could probably get something from this. We had a few decent attempts in the first half. But the players, as soon as we got that goal, they thought, we're only one behind now. We can get something from this. And yeah, we did. Wilf just blows my mind. He really does. He's been doing this for so long, yet players, defenders still don't know how to come at him. They'll either foul him, just get the ball off him, or he's gone. Those are the only three options we will. And if he'd gone, they foul him again. You know, So it's just one of them things. It's mind-blowing. But his goal, <laughs> amazing. I was watching Sky Sports News, and obviously my stream was about 15, 20 second delay. So I'm watching the stream on my phone, and I'm watching Sky Sports News, and it keeps coming to Phil Thompson. Keeps coming to Phil Thompson, keeps coming. And it's all Palace. But every time it comes to him, it's all Palace. Shot, save, shot, wide, shot, over, shot, save. Just unbelievable. And then it comes and I'm looking at it, I'm going, six minutes. Gee, it's 96 minute plus 10, like 96, 10, 11, 12. And then he, he goes mental and I'm thinking, is that free one? And I'll see the fans behind him going mental and I'm thinking, yes! So I watched it and there's Wilf. He gets into the box, gets to the byline, cuts back some outstanding skill. And I'm thinking, pass, Wilf. Pass the, pass the ball. Like, it's the end of the game. Will you please pass to someone in the box? And he shoots. It curls beautifully along the floor. And bottom right, Joe Hart, I think, may have been blinded from his defenders. He wouldn't have been able to see it. But Wilfred Zaha, just, you are the man. You are the man. Um, two all, like I said, I'm happy with that. Bring on next week. Um, I will be at Selhurst for the Everton game and the Stoke game. So I might do something outside the stadium like this. Obviously not too long, but I will uh, definitely try and do something outside the stadium. If anyone wants to talk to me, crack on. I'll be there. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to myself and FYP TV. Like and share, and as always, come on, you palace.